case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1989, the Supreme Court of Georgia grappled with a legal twist that reached back six decades. The case involved a 1929 trust created by Elizabeth Shorter for her then unmarried son. The trust stipulated that on the event of the son's death without children, his wife would be the beneficiary. Upon the son's wife's death, the assets would transfer to Elizabeth Shorter's brother and sister's lineage. The son subsequently married in 1953, but passed away in 1987, leaving no descendants. The bank serving as trustee filed a petition questioning the trust's legitimacy, saying it ran contrary to the legal rule against perpetuities. The plot thickened when a trial court sided with the bank, deciding that the trust violated the rule against perpetuities. The trust was terminated, and the son's widow became the full owner of the estate. The decision didn't sit well with 52 of Elizabeth Shorter's lineal descendants who launched an appeal, attempting to introduce an alternative wait-and-see approach. However, the court held firm, declining to shift from the traditional interpretation of the rule against perpetuities. On April 6, 1989, the Supreme Court of Georgia made its final decision. The court held that Elizabeth Shorter's 1929 will was invalid as it violated the rule against perpetuities. The indefinite provisions cemented the trust's termination, and the son's widow maintained fee ownership, thus upholding the earlier decision that the trust was void. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.